Hi. So I often get the question, how should I train in the gym to improve my swimming? And uh, it's a complex question, but I will show you some of my favorite exercises that I coach with and I also do myself in order to get strong in the water, in the swimming race. Okay. For example, this exercise. Down, I take a bar here. Put my legs up. Don't start with too high heavy weights here. And I rotate back. And over. And over. So this is strengthen your shoulders and your breath. So, next exercise. So, probably the most important exercise for a swimmer, training latissimus, the back, and working with your own weight. It can be a challenge a lot of times, depending on how much you weigh, but this is gonna make you strong. And you Wide, wide ribs, because we are swimmers. We want long muscles and pulling up. Okay, but if you're not quite as strong as you want, you can get a support from a rubber band like this. This will help you just a little bit to do those chin-ups. Here, and you pull up. So, but if you're not this far yet, I'll show another exercise. If you're not strong enough to do chin ups, this is my second favorite exercise to train in the back. Makes you stronger when you're swimming. It's called a lats pull. You grab here, wide grip. I usually grip around here, the toes, with the, not with the toes, but with the thumbs. And uh, come down in position. Legs under, and you pull down. Always control and calm. This is almost like a butterfly stroke, huh? I don't pull behind the head, because that can cause unnecessary strain on the neck. And I want to be a swimmer. I don't want to be a perfect bodybuilder. So I do movement here close to my swimming. And be careful with weight. Don't start too heavy. Well, uh, for this exercise you need a bar to hold on to. You can also do with a stick. And you can also have some weights on the bar depending on how strong you are. This is exercise I developed because, like maybe you, I also have lack of time. So it's a combination of exercises that fits very good for a swimmer. You train the whole body. You will train the torso, and the legs, the tails, shoulders. Yeah, just look at it. It also has a rhythm to it. First position, second position. Three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, do you have a squat in here? When you do squat, here, keep stable, straight arms. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try it. it doesn't feel heavy. You do 10, 20 reps, and you get to fit.
Okay, this last exercise I will show you now because we we men tend to uh, do exercises a lot of times that make big muscles. Well, this is for the small muscles, supporting muscles in our shoulders. You can do with a bottle of water. But I'm gonna drink that now because it's important to drink. And you can do it with a smaller weight here, like this. You lay down, it's a better way to control the body and exercise. Here. And then you do some repetitions first out here. See, I don't go all the way down each time. I don't take it rest here. Stay before I'm resting. Up and down. Do this 15 times, then you turn over and here. Up and down. Don't swing the weight and make small movements. That's enough. 15 times. And the last one is hard here. Rotating out. So, might not be fun, but it's great for swimming. So, weight training might not be your favorite sport. Uh, maybe swimming is it. And, uh, but in order to get really fast, even for endurance races, the training in the gym helps. And um, you just need 20 minutes each time and you can do it. And please, as you get older, the muscle tonus goes down, you know that, so keep it at it. More and more as you get older, keep it. 20 minutes a day, not only keeps the doctor away, but uh, keep your muscles. And strength, your races. Good luck.